welcome back to another episode of Energized. Barry, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Another episode of Energized. Another episode. Another episode. If you're new to the Energized podcast, welcome. And if you're a turning Energized listener, welcome back. So, Barry. Yeah, and make sure to subscribe, will you? Jeez. Yeah. yeah smash that subscribe button. Yeah. Smash like Khabib smash. So, Khabib smash. Barry, yeah. Yeah. what is on today's show? Okay, what's going on, guys? Uh, we have a massive announcement, actually, <laughs> we should probably just start off with. Before we get into everything else, yeah. shall we? The All-Ireland went to a draw. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, oh, that wasn't the, uh, that wasn't the no. announcement. I actually bet on that match as well. The dubs, the, the, like a minus five handicap, and it ended up being a draw. And then, do you know what? C for bet and Kerry to win. C for... C for... Terrible. He was a freak. He was freaked at the end. What the, the draw was? Yeah, he was like, "Oh, I nearly won it! I nearly won it!" And I was like, "He's going against your own county." Yeah, terrible, terrible. Yeah, but that wasn't the announcement. At sorry. least you ratted them out on live on yeah. camera. Yeah, <laughs> I ratted you out. But that's not the announcement. It's not the announcement at all. Barry, what's what is the announcement? Do you want to say? No, I want you to say. Why? Because you said we have big announcement, so therefore you should make the announcement. All right, I'll, I'll announce it and then you, you talk about it. Um, we mentioned last week that we we're meant to be going to an event called FICON. It's in Cork. And uh, the lads actually just confirmed on our behalf that we're going. So uh, cheers, lads. So uh, yeah, we're going in February uh, the 29th. So it's next year. And, uh, leap year. Yeah, the day of the leap. And uh, the early bird tickets are already sold out. So uh, it's going to be our first ever live event. Yeah, people are going to see us, and yeah. they've announced their first guest, Energized. But then they announced their second guest, Funky Ben Askren. The funky one. That's a pretty cool guest to get, isn't it? Yeah, well, us or him? Us, obviously. Ah, yeah, but then, yeah, like, yeah. Ben Askren's cool, too. Ben Askren is cool, yeah. But uh, I feel like you and him are going to be, like, best mates or something. Obviously. I'm going to try to take him down. <laughs> so, Ben, if you're listening, be prepared. <laughs> and I'll need him. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch this uh. El Basmo Masvidal Yeah Baz Vidal <laughs> Oh you should have done yeah. that first time around Yeah so everyone Thanks a for like All the yeah. support and shit Like cause uh, Literally That that was announced And then the next day My mum was like I think you should give up Energized And I was like Alright <laughs> Thanks mum um, Mum Also it's- Cage Warriors announced That they're coming back To Cork in November So yeah. the, the MMA scene in Cork Is really hotting up um, heating up hotting, hotting up Heating up Hotting up Whatever yeah. uh, And That's what leads us into One of our mates Is fighting this weekend Ian Gary's fighting This Friday In Cage Warriors In London Yeah Barry, are, you, are you excited about it? Um, I'm, I'm excited I'm just, like, To be honest I'm pretty really sure this one's happening In BT Sports Studio Yeah it you know is yeah. yeah it is Yeah, They're doing like a four man tournament And stuff I don't know what exactly They're doing there uh, but, Is he uh, fighting in the studio? Yeah That's like Sort of strange, but very, very cool. Yeah. Paddy Pimlet did that before, didn't he? Against Juicy. Yeah. yeah. And it was a terrible fight. Yeah, it was terrible, yeah. Didn't he actually lose? And then like they were like, no, 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 you won't, don't worry. And Juicy was like, oh, no. That's not oh, Juicy. Julian Rose, that's his name, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a shy fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, Ian was meant to fight a while ago, and then your man could, like, couldn't fight him. Yeah, but I feel like they're pushing him by putting him on this, because like, this yeah. is like... A bit of a unique card. It is a bit of a unique one, yeah. Where is he uh, on the card? Well, he's, 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 he's op- kicking off. Yeah, he's the, the opener. opener. Yeah. Uh, if the, will that be on Facebook? Facebook Live? I'm sure you'll catch somewhere. You know what I mean? PT um, Sports, probably. Yeah, but Ian, uh, best look, man. Uh, big, big future ahead of him. And he is actually called the future. Yeah, so. Um, I'll, I'll be interested to see what colour shorts he wears. The pink ones, probably. Yeah, maybe. Or purple, probably. But we'll see. Yeah. I think he said he might be changed now. Yeah, make sure to check him out. He's a great lad. Um, also, we're just going to move into the world of MMA. Obviously, oh, sorry, uh, UFC. Uh, it was announced that Darren Till is taking on Kelvin Gastelum in the middleweight division. So, Ross, first of all, Darren Till's after moving up a weight class. What do you think of that? And then also, what you make of the matchup? Um, and give us your truth, the truth, man. The truth is, Darren Till probably needs to move up. He looks so much bigger than all the other welterweights. He looked like he, he had a very tough time making weight the last few times. Yeah. He's missed weight a few times. And... Look, a lot of people have got massive success moving up in weight class, so let's see if it works for Darren Till. In terms of the matchup, Dana White was like, oh, I think we pushed him too fast. He beat Cowboy, and then, you know, we thought he was the next big thing. They thought he was the second coming of Con- Conor McGregor. They did. And, you the, know, the Scouse McGregor. It's quite funny because he's, he's talked about it. He's quite open about how, how he um, views his fighting career. 
Um, he is very, very open, isn't he? Yeah, it's quite interesting. Yeah. Probably what makes him more endearing. Yeah, you, yeah that's the thing. He, yeah. he comes across as a very deep thinker or something. Yeah, and what I didn't like about how open he was, he was like, when I fight, there's two events going on. There's the walkout. Yeah. And then there's the fight itself. Yeah, I remember you said that. That's and, so true. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, people are there more like, can't wait to get sweet Caroline yeah. on my Instagram story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way, do you think he's going to be a Foycon? I feel like that should be an easy enough one to get, no? Maybe, yeah. Well, he's only across the water. Potentially, so it depends on how close Foycon lines up to his, his like following fight after this. True, actually, yeah. So, like, it depends on who's fighting that February and when there's a February card. Him and Ben Askren. But, um, it could be. Yeah. Why not? Um, he, he also was non committal to moving to Middleway. He was like, oh, I can do both. Um, but I feel like once he fights once at middleweight yeah. and if, especially if he wins he'd be like lads middleweight is where I should have been the whole time yeah but uh, yeah so they'll go into the, the fixture uh, the fight itself because um, um, yeah, Calvin they, Gastelum's coming off like a serious performance against uh, Israel Adesanya yeah. oh my god imagine Darren Till here. imagine Darren Till against fucking uh, Izzy Adesanya oh that'd be slick it would be very slick but I can't help think that Adesanya would knock him out um, after seeing Masvidal knock him out but maybe with, 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 with more weight. Or uh, more so less of a weight cut. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think once you get knocked out. Yeah. Look at Rockhold. Because like, Woody like knocked him down and then choked him out. Like, look at Rockhold, yeah. man. His chin is gone. Yeah, McChin. Oh, then again, <laughs> pe- people said that about... That's harsh, man. People said that about Andre Arlovsky and he hasn't been knocked out in his like, last six fights. Yeah. And like he was Mr. McChin. Yeah. No, he's Mr. Nose, man. His nose is so flat. Yeah, but let's let's see how it plays out. I really don't think it's a good matchup for Darren Till. I think Kelvin Gaston has all the tools to beat him. He's brilliant Take. on the feet. He can like take a shot like there's no tomorrow. He and can. he's got great wrestling and serious submission skills on the ground. When I saw this, I was like, Jesus, this is going to What was good. your early prediction on it? I don't know, like Darren Till like that knockout like he he got he got turned off against uh Masvidal. And uh, you you just don't know like some like the, when your chin goes like that, it, it doesn't. It, you don't know what's gonna happen. You know you don't. How much can he trust that chin? And yeah. like Kevin Gaston gets in, and he likes doing dirty dirty boxing. So a lot of people sort of say when you get knocked out like that, like flatlined, that you should take at least a year off. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, but I'm trying to find that. Uh, what events that on? Uh, UFC two forty four in Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's an MSG, yeah. Um, no lies here. That'd be headlined by Covington versus Usman. That was also announced for that card. Like, oh, they're gonna have them all in the building. Yeah. So that'd be unreal. Yeah, that will be unreal. Do you reckon Nate Diaz is gonna fight Masvidal on that card? Okay. I reckon Nate Diaz might not fight there because apparently you got higher tax in New York, yeah. and he's like, "No fucking way, man." Yeah. I know, There's yeah. talks about UFC 245. But I don't know where that is, but I think they might headline. Even though there's like title fights above that, oh yeah, yeah, man, Nunes just give that us hard. what we want, Dana, will you? Yeah, Dana, hit load more there, Dana, load more. Maya versus Askren, I think people are gonna be like, nah, oh, this is not great. There you go. They want a stand up war, not a two forty four, the, the Jits world. Yeah, so two forty four. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. Um, if you're enjoying the MMA shows, make sure to hit a like there as well. By the way, will you? Yeah, UFC China was on. This weekend as well. Yeah. And we were given a new UFC strawweight champion. Very impressive. Also, I What's think it was the yeah. fastest win in UFC strawweight history. And the fastest win in UFC strawweight title history. Were you shocked by this? Um, was I shocked? D- um, no. You weren't shocked. I think it was just like, alright, whatever. So you didn't As care. A result, no, I didn't yeah, really care. Yeah, no, so no. you didn't get. You yeah. weren't not shocked. You just yeah, I wasn't didn't invested. Care. I wasn't invested. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was watching the doors, man. Yeah, but Zhang Wei Li. Well, first of all, I got a notification on my phone. It was like, Zhang Wei Li is the new UFC strawweight champion. I was like, what? That's on now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how probably little I was invested in it, but I actually expected to be a lot closer of a fight. Jessica Andrade did a great job blocking knees with her face. And yeah, very Ben Askren. UFC looks like they have a new superstar in China with uh, Zhang Weili, don't they? Yeah. Like it, the Rock tweet about her. Yeah, it's almost like the, the perfect 
thing for Dana now to really kick on. He's like a Chinese champion. Yes. Yeah. 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 I I, I think like UFC should almost like avoid giving her like Joanna and avoid giving her teach Charles and be like. Well, so just don't let her ever fight again. No, they should be like. Well, I suppose. Well, she's if Michelle a- Waterson wins. They'd be like Michelle Waterson versus Zhang Weili in Asia. What a fight! True, actually, yeah. Jeez, I didn't even think of that. That'd be massive for them, wouldn't yeah. it? The huge defeat for Jessica Andrade after coming off, like after just winning the belt as well against Tog Rose. Yeah, I think it was like one of the shortest title reigns of all time yeah. in women's history. <sighs> there you have it. Yeah. Um, not much more to say about China. No. Li Zhang Lang won against Ezekiel De Santos. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. But... Ezekiel. Uh, Eliseo Dos Santos actually looks a bit like Johnny Jitsu there, look. Does he? Yeah. That's a fair show. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Johnny Jitsu. Um, yeah, also Bellator Dublin's coming out, coming like very, very soon. I think it's like four weeks away. September 27th, yeah. yeah. Right around the corner, so like that's going to be unreal. Yeah. Can't let wait it, to go with that. Yeah, let us know if you're going. Let us know. Uh, but we don't get conf- confirmation until the week of, although I think it should be all right. Yeah. Um. But so I suppose we get into this week. Massive card this week. What do you make of the show so far, by the way? Uh, enjoying it. I think it's, yeah, it's way a bit, more a bit of crack and yeah. it's just like chatting. Yeah. I like, don't know. Usually it's different. I'm sure the people watching now will be like, this is a bit different. Is Ross yeah. funnier? No, definitely not. No, definitely no, not. no, definitely not. Definitely not. So UFC 242 <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. Abu Dhabi. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Barry, would you, this, would you not say it with a bit of passion, though? <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually like quite an interesting one because Dustin's after winning the interim title by beating Max Holloway and like convincingly beating Max Holloway. A lot of people were like heavily favoring Max going into that fight. Yeah, uh, I think it's because a lot of people like Max as well. They're like, yeah, go on, Max. True. How could you not like my yeah. mate? Your mate. And then next thing you know, oh here, do you want to know actually a funny story about Max Holloway? Right? No. I was talking to this, no, this no. guy in work there the other day, and he told me his birthday. And uh, what's he was like? It's my birthday this week. Well, that's what I heard. And then I went and got a photo of him, Max Holloway, framed. Right, I brought it in, and I was like, "Yes, like brilliant present from right." Yeah. They were like, "It's not his birthday till March." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, what do you mean?" I go, "No, it's the, like we ha- we talked about it the other day that it's his birthday this Thursday." And he was like, "It's not." Did you go onto his I, Facebook I, and have a look? He doesn't have it on his Facebook. He doesn't have Facebook. He's like fifty. Oh so then, yeah. So then, like, I was like, I was like. No, it's Stephanie's birthday Thursday. I go, I can't wait until on Thursday. I go, it's your birthday. It's your birthday today, isn't it? And he goes, no, my birthday is in March. And I was oh, like, oh, no. So, I had to give it to him anyway because like, yeah, we're going to lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was March. Like, yeah, but he was over the moon. He couldn't believe it. So, Oop. Darren, you're welcome. Darren, get on Facebook. It's where yeah. the cool kids are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, back to UFC 242. Khabib versus Dustin. Yeah, that was a nice press in the guy, actually. Yeah, isn't it? No, not really, no. Terrible story. Yeah, uh, we're gonna story. we're gonna edit that story. Yeah. <laughs> if we knew him to do that, we would. No one Uh Yeah, so Khabib's taking on Dustin Poirier. Uh, the rest of the card doesn't really look great, to be honest. If you ask me, yeah, Bar- well, Edson Barboza against Paul Felder, and it, like I mean, we'll have a quick look at it anyway. But we'll start with the main event, and yeah. then we'll run through the card afterwards. Uh, we may as well. I think the main event boils down to: Does anyone think Dustin Poirier can stop Khabib smashing him? I was remember last week. I was like, "Oh, maybe," but now I'm sort of like, after watching the countdown, I was like, "No, Khabib, it's Khabib time." It is, isn't no. It? There's just something about him that he does something that no one else can do. Like it's just so weird. And like I was even they were showing that they, they, there's so many Connor clips in it as well. And I was just like, I don't think Connor is ever going to be able to beat him. Although there's been so many fighters, it makes you drown. Not exactly like Khabib, but if you look at like Damian Moya, you knew Damian Moya was going to take you down and try and submit you. And that was his game plan going to fight. And there was no other option. And for a good long time, like, that worked. You knew exactly what he was going to try and do. You look at um, Ben Askren. You knew he was going to try and take you down and hold you down for 15 minutes. Yeah. And for a very long time, that worked. And then you have other fighters like Conor McGregor or Francis Ngannou. You knew they were coming in there and they just want to stand there and knock the head off you. And it worked. Mm-hmm. But like everyone has their kryptonite. Now, what, what are you want, getting? What are you? What are you getting to? What, what? Now, Dustin Poirier, I look at him and go, he's very, very well rounded. He's got very good jujitsu. He's good on the feet. 
I haven't really seen anyone hold Dustin Poirier down, like hold him down. Normally when it comes to those sort of exchanges, I feel like he ends up in the better spots. Now Khabib is a different animal. But maybe Dustin Poirier has enough skills to get the job done. What? Knockout like? Potentially so. Khabib still has that. But they're, go- they're going over to Dubai, uh, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yeah, they're going over there for Khabib. Like, this is going to be a pro Khabib uh, environment. Oh, yeah, definitely. The so, audience is all going to be wearing the bleeding Russian hats. Yeah. Sweating, but wearing the Russian hats. <laughs> Look, we can't do the show and just go, Khabib's going to smash him. We have to make it somewhat interesting. No, no, I get you. Last week I was like, oh, maybe Dustin, but after watching the, the stuff back, I'm just like, geez, Khabib, like, he's like, a, he has no, like, he doesn't want to wear Gucci runners or wear sunglasses. He wants to wear that sheep's head in his thing and then just crush and smash. One of the lads at work goes to me and goes, I hope Dustin Poirier wins. He's so good looking and his wife's such a babe and then like he's got a perfect kid so therefore like, I hope he has the perfect life. Who, like, said, who said that? <laughs> one of the lads at work. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What? He's so ha- Dustin's so handsome. I hope yeah, he wins. Then, like, like his wife is gorgeous. He's got a lovely little kid and like winning this will make him have the perfect life. Yeah. Very Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier will like, I don't know what's going to happen if he wins. Very sorry. I sort of want Khabib to win just how we see Ferguson Versus could be yeah. that's what I want to oh, say because yeah, yeah, that could that, be could yeah. be kryptonite. Script, yeah, like Tony so, Ferguson. I just want to see those two like talking the mic because Tony Ferguson's like a lunatic. Ah, uh, he's not. Oh, you're very sane. Very. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking harsh, man. So what? You're you're going Khabib? Yeah, I think so. Okay, there you go. After talking up to some poor, yeah, yeah, after saying how handsome he was and how good looking his family are. Yeah, but uh, also on the card, Edson Barboza taking on Paul Felder, the Irish dragon, um, for the second time. Yeah. Oh, I think Barbosa is going to win again. He won the last time. I feel like he hits harder, basically. Yeah, he needs. Oh, oh, he's this is going to kick be, him in the body. Yeah, and like, this is going to be like kickboxing. Yeah, one this on one. Fight, yeah, one on yeah. one. Yeah, but uh, also on this, yeah, there's yeah, Islam Makachev's fighting David Ramos. That'd be good grappling. And then who else on there? Curtis Blades fighting Shamil Abdurakhimov. Well, I'll say that again. And then, oh, your man Marbek Tusmov. That should be. He, he should probably go in there and get the knockout. He's pretty decent. So yeah. Look, look, it's a Russian. This. It's a Russian MMA fan's wet dream. Yeah, where's Fedor? Fedor, yeah, he's here. <laughs> yeah, he's the, the chest hair. But uh, also on Saturday night, it is Bellator two two six goes down in San Jose, California. Uh, Ryan Bader, home. Re, yeah, Ryan Bader is taking on Czech Congo for the heavyweight world title. Uh, oh, I think Chong- Bader is undefeated in uh, Bellator, isn't he? Oh, not hundred percent sure. I think he is. Um, uh, also, the featherweight tournament starts that night as well. Right, run us through the fights there and I'll tell you who win yeah. all of them. Yeah, I want to keep it under 20 minutes. Uh, Don't da- worry, we're only on 7. I know, yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, Daniel Strauss versus Derek Ca- uh, Campos. Uh, Daniel Strauss win that. Okay. Uh, Pat Curran against Adam Burks. Adam Burks just beat Pico. Adam I think, yeah. He's undefeated. Keep an eye on him. Uh, Taiwan Claxton is taking on Manuel Sanchez. Taiwan Claxton. He's 5-0. Uh, Sam, the Sicilian, Sicilia. He's taking on Pedro Carvalho from uh, SPG. Pedro Carvalho. He looks Pedro. like a monster. Pedro, yeah. And then uh, Gaston, Boland, Daniel Carey. And there's a random fight. Right, Ryan Bader versus Czech Congo. Who's going to win Barry? Quick! Ryan Bader, man. Yeah, Ryan Darth Bader. Darth what Bader. a winner. Ross, that sort of wraps up everything, really, doesn't it? Man, why are you so worried about the time? I don't know. I feel like people are watching us. Very you, man. Of course they are. We are on YouTube. So, <laughs> if you like this energized video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Smash the subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what's up. Barry, you looked like you were checking yourself out there in the camera. No, I was trying to see what time it was. Yeah, well, this don't worry. It. There was a minute of mess. Don't actually, so un- just unsubscribe from the channel. You may as well. I know, don't. So, <laughs> as always, <laughs> stay, stay energized. energized.